hello and uh, welcome to my uh, project. I'm going to be talking about the website BandLab, which is a music production and sharing website that allows music creators to not only create music, but also share it on the platform and distribute it and even have it published if they're lucky enough. So it's a very good, very good website for starting musicians like myself. So here we have the front page. Um, I do apologize for any lag. My computer is having a bit of trouble right now. Um, here we have some uh, songs. I'm not going to play any of them, but if you press play, it plays all of them. Uh, yeah, these are all these are all <coughs> songs made by completely different people. Uh, here we have the uh, Explore tab, which lets you like select a wide variety. Again, I apologize for the lag. It's kind of uh, my computer is not being very nice right now, but. Uh, this allows you to like find opportunities with producers. Um, I haven't actually explored this feature too much myself, so I'm not really sure what it does. But I know that this allows more like professional grade musicians to get like lots of opportunities. This tab lets you view your statistics as a creator. For example, I have um, t a total of 5,000 plays, so I'm not exactly the most popular artist on here. But uh, and I have 133 followers from my. Um, five years now of uh, being on the platform. Uh, you can also use uh, premium features that allow you to distribute your music and promote it. Um, yeah, that's, that's what that's for. Here we have the song library and album library. Well, this is just the library. Shows you uh, all of your songs. I'm just going to blur this area out because some of the, so a few of the songs do have bad words in the title. But believe me, there are songs here that you can click on. I'll click on one that doesn't have a bad word for an example. Here we have the interface um, where you can, you're can you able to publish it. The song's not done yet, so I'm not going to publish it. Uh, there's uh, You can share it privately even when it's not public. You can download it. You can also edit in the studio, which I'm going to get into later. But uh, let's, let's just have a listen to this. Actually, hold on. My headphones aren't in. You can't hear that. All right, I just connected my earbuds. You should be able to hear it now. This is what it sounds like. As you can see, you're able to click to different points in the song. I'm not going to play the entire thing. Uh, now we're going to go into the studio. While this is loading, I'll, uh, I'll talk a bit about the UI. It's mostly just buttons you click on and stuff. Uh, the main, uh, I'd say, one issue that this website solves is that a lot of times it's kind of difficult to find ways to produce your music and get it distributed. but. Um, and as well as just making this music in general, but this website makes it very easy. And uh, like, for example, here we have the MIDI keyboard. Oh, okay. So like I mentioned earlier, there, there is a bit of lag. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, it does not seem to be letting me press the keys and make uh, them play notes. However, you can go into this menu here, which lets you place notes on the grid. I'm just going to put them in like a... Oh, there we go. Now it's making sounds. I'm just going to place them in like a ra random pattern here. This isn't supposed to sound good, but... As you can see, it tracks the notes here. Then you press play. Yeah, wonderful. One other thing is you can press record here. And uh, once it... Then you can just... You can just tap away on the keyboard here. Then it uh, records that and puts it onto here, so you can listen to it once again. And then you can re-edit it in the MIDI. Not only that, but you can also add effects, um, which comes with it comes with preset uh, combinations of effects. But you can also add the individual ones here, uh, as you can see. For example, if I make uh, distortion plus plus, this is gonna make it sound really bad. But you know, wait, let's just listen to it. Yeah, that probably doesn't sound really good on your ears. Let's try um, let's try a different one. There, it also has like volume control ones, like the BL eleven, uh, seven six here. I like this one because it like, out. <coughs> it's just easy to like, make things louder with it. Oh, that does not sound good. Let's turn that down a bit. So you probably can't notice that big of a difference, but there is a difference. You can also edit like the panning, which changes what ear uh, it is playing into the sound. So here I have it all the way on the right. Uh, if you happen to be wearing um, headphones, you can you can hear it in your right ear. Uh, you can change the reverb, which is like makes it sound like it's in an echoey room. Uh, 
pretty much that's it. You can also it also there's also a built in a large library of samples. Uh, pre-made samples like here we got David Cisco presents Brazilian you can just go here we can take uh, this sample right here drag it on uh, no okay then you can just put it here and now the beats in there all of these are royalty free I, for, I believe so you can include them in your songs and not get copyright claimed so these are all 100% free to use <coughs> This also brings us to the next feature. It can record <coughs> audio. I'm not sure if it'll work while I have the screen recorder open, but let's try it. Uh, testing. This is audio. This is audio that I am recording. Oh, it does work. Uh, testing. Right. This is audio. Oh. Loud. Let's turn that down a bit. Uh, testing. This is audio. This is audio that I am recording. So in this little menu, you can change the pitch. So that's high pitched. Uh, testing. This is audio. This audio. This is audio you can also make it slower. Record. Pretty much anything a normal audio editor would have it allows you to alter the audio. You can even reverse it here. Yeah. Okay. And like like with the MIDI editor, you can add effects onto it, so that's good. And then also that has auto tune, so that you can auto tune it to uh, let's put it in um, let's put it in F flat major. <laughs> so it sounds weird but it's it's um it's there and uh there's a few there's one more feature there's a drum machine that i i never use this uh because it's easier to just it, it's much easier to just use a drum in the midi in the midi piano you can change it oh yeah i forgot to mention there's a ton of instruments on here a ton these are all instruments that you can use that all sound different so an impressive library of instruments. Some of them are kind of hit or miss, but there's so many of them that it doesn't really matter. But there's also a drum machine here that lets you uh, make your own loops. That's the loop there. Now we can hear it combined with audio. Doesn't sound bad. Uh -huh. There's also additionally, there's a sampler, which lets you, it's kind of like a combination of the microphone and the MIDI keyboard. You can record different sounds like, uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 So now using those, you can go into here and make, um, you can make little patterns with that, like the MIDI keyboard. Okay, okay, that sounds like something. I might publish this later. Um, oh yeah, you can copy paste the tracks. You can move them around and stuff so that they're like where you want them to be. Uh, then the last feature you can do is you can also I, do, I don't have anything to demonstrate this on, but you can connect a guitar amp or a bass um, to this, and it'll it'll record that in the software, which is which is very very useful for if you have one, an electric guitar or an electric bass. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to talk about here. Um, yeah, that's going to be it.